Hey guys, for those who don't yet know, I'm a game developer and I'm making a game called Build Together. Some people think I'm AI due to how fast I'm talking and explaining things, but I assure you it's actually me. There's no voice modifications of any kind. I'm an independent developer, so I don't have any help at all. So if you can subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, this can potentially trigger YouTube algorithm, especially if you like this game, please consider doing that. Okay, on to the video. I'm going to start this with an episode zero. This is my very first development video. Now, I want to post more gameplay and show you how the game works, and that's going to be my main focus. But once in a while, I'm going to be doing these development episodes where I'm going to be showing you the kind of problems I'm trying to solve as I make this game. So as you can see on the screen, it's a very early stage right now, but I figured out how to select a block and highlight it and then I can also remove it from the game world made out of blocks by pressing the left mouse button now it's not much but it's really difficult to set up this in OpenGL and C++ which is the language I'm building this in now I'm not gonna go much into the source code and coding examples of what I'm doing right now but I'm gonna show you this one problem that I realized that I need to solve so in the game we have a block but how do we actually know that it's being selected from minecraft we know it's just enough to just look at it so what happens is we draw a vector in the direction of where the player is looking at and if that vector intersects with any of the cubes we then choose the closest cube from that set and consider it selected but there's another small detail we also need to figure out which side of the cube the player is looking at that's important because we need to know the side of the cube the player is looking at in order to add another cube next to it. So it's not enough that the cube is selected. If we want to place another cube on top, we need to make sure that that ray intersects with the top of the cube. Or if we need to add a block on the left side, we also need to know that the intersection of that ray takes place with the left side of the cube. So going back into my C++ code here, this is the part where I check for the intersection with the cube. So this is the function that does that. And here's what that function actually looks like. So this is the code that identifies that the ray intersects with one of the cubes. But I also added this other part here that's going to define the different sides of the cube. And when this function finishes executing, it's going to also tell me which side the ray intersected with. Now, this feature allows me to place another block either on the left or right side or on top of the block. And in the next video, I'm actually going to be showing you in-game example of how that works. I'm going to be building something now that this feature is completely implemented in my source code.